Hello and welcome back to my PvP locked hardcore Iron Man. Where in the last episode we got a bunch of fancy jewelry to help our defenses. This episode, my private will be set to all so that any hunter can know when I'm online and what world I'm on. Later on in the episode, I will also be turning off my player indicator plugin. Things are getting a whole lot more dangerous and I'll be taking more and more risks. It should be a good episode. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to like and subscribe. And let's get into it. Before I go do Slayer and other stuff, it's time to do my weekly Tears of Guthics. 8,000 XP, almost 9,000. 46 runecrafting. I haven't shown Tears of Guthics in a while. I've been doing it. This is the first quest I need to complete in my road to doing Dragon Slayer. Dragon Slayer, I needed to do A Tale of Two Cats. And to do that quest, I needed to do this quest right here. So it's time to go do A Tale of Two Cats. Man, I was wearing my cat speak amulet in Camelot where there are always scouts. So they probably saw the cat speak amulet and they were like, oh, I wonder what quest that's from. So, mistake by me, honestly. In the meantime, while I wait to finish the quest, I've got a ton of herbs here that I'm just going to use because I have all the secondaries already that I've gathered. And hopefully this will get me at least 65. I have a, a good amount. Maybe it'll get me 64, almost 65. But I really, really, really want to get ranging potions, which I need 68 to pie for. But I'll probably just get 67 and use a, a stew. Alright, so there's 65. I can make sandfus. Not that I'm going to. I need two more levels, and I can make ranging potions. I'm pretty close, to be honest. I'm going to finish these, and then I'll go turn in that quest. Alright. There's the quest done. We can get ourselves 5,000 herblore XP. That much closer to ranging potions. What a nice guy. And one more step closer to Dragon Slayer 2. We literally just need 70 smithing and this quest can be done. I won't be doing it very soon. I'll get 70 smithing soon and I'm just gonna sit on the requirements because if I do it right after, I'll just die. I literally killed like five blood builds. Oh my gosh, playing with private on sucks. Looks like I'm skipping my task. Ooh, there is 86 strength. I want to get to 100 combat before I get to uh, 200 tasks, so I'm going to start training defense. I want to be able to do Duradel instead of Konar for the point tasks, and getting two combat levels doesn't really matter anymore. Level 113 can attack me. There is 65 farming, which is pretty important because I don't have to do Garden Pies to get into the mid-tier of the farming guild. And also, I just got two Hespori seeds, so I'm going to go... Plant some Hispori seeds. Maybe I can get a bottomless bucket if I get lucky. My video is about to hit 2,000 likes, which means I will be turning player indicators off. 78 Slayer. Pog Champ. Finally. This fight took forever. Here's our first Hispori kill, though. No one's waiting. Pog Champ. Three minutes and 44 seconds. And I got spooned the bucket. <laughs> On my first kill. I don't even have that on my like main iron. Well, that's cool, I guess. Alright, there's Jad dead for a nice 25k Slayer XP. I think I'm going to do all of my Jad tasks. No one's outside. It is a bit risky coming out because I don't have any food. Never lucky. Alright, there is 70 thieving. My computer kind of just turned off in the middle of me playing. I wasn't doing anything un unsafe, but I decided I would see if it would do it again. I've been thieving for about two and a half to three hours. And it hasn't, so I hope, really hope it doesn't turn off again randomly. That was kind of scary. Thank God I wasn't doing anything crazy. I was literally about to go do my Slayer task, which is Black Demons, and I was going to go to Demonic Gorillas. So thank God I didn't go there. I literally would have just... My account would have been terminated, honestly. Alright, another Black Demons task. I only have 133 this task. It's time to go back to the Demonic Gorillas. This task is kind of scary, especially without player indicators on, because if I get scouted, someone can just wait right there at the Dragon Spear with a couple people, and I'm just dead. So, I've got a plan to play it a little safe. After every trip, I'm going to come back to the entrance and just look and see if anyone is waiting for me in case I get scouted inside and they wait for me to come back. So 
So if I see no one's waiting, I'll just teleport away, go bank, and come back, and know I'll be safe. It's a nice little peace of mind. I got scouted going towards the demonic gorilla, so it's time to elk all of these. Lovely elks. 750k. That's 10 days of miscellaneous. It's pretty good. Alright, there's the 199th task done. I want to get my last one from Duradel, but I need 58,000 more defense XP to get 100 combat. So I'm just going to go do it at the Vire Watches. Hopefully I'll get some nice money. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have so many points. It's going to be so nice. Alright, there it is. 75 defense. And we are officially 100 combat. I've got about 800 of these now. and No blood, blood shard or whatever it's called. I would like a blood fury at some point, but I don't really need to camp these for now. Water fiends. That's going to be a no. Give me something better than that. Black demons. Okay, I'm also going to skip that just because I want to get XP. I don't want slow tasks. Blood build, sure. Why not? I don't feel bad about skipping. I'm about to get a million points, so... Also, that's a hard task. I can do the hard diary. I probably will eventually when I want to get my air blur up. It would be nice just to have the gloves to teleport here as well. All right, there's our 200th task done for 375 points. I have 588 now. I'm just going to use them for skipping probably. Oh, who's that? I'm not in any danger here, but... Oh, I got 12 left. I'm just going to go back. Gargoyles are definitely the best task. They're so safe. I feel comfortable coming back here even if I know people know I'm here. I have 700k. I got a mall here. Make it 730k. They have give so much money and they're so safe. I they're definitely my favorite task. I consulted my notes and that account is actually Solo's med level. Solo mission. I didn't know he still hunted to be honest. Oh hey, it's Pimpact. The legend himself making an appearance. Here is maybe one of the last strength levels, 87, that I will hopefully be getting. Because I'm hopefully going to have a whip soon and can start training attack and defense. If you're someone that's watched more than one of my videos, just click the subscribe button, bro. It's free. There's the big 80 slayer. We can kill Necrails, but more importantly, we can plus, plus 5 boost to kill Ab Abyssal Demons. 80 Slayer, now it's time to initiate my master plan to get a whip. I've been cooking up some things in my head, and I think I can do it undetected, but I'm not positive. We'll see. I've got all the components here. I've got 80 Slayer. I just need the cooking level. I need spices though, so I'm going to pre-get a bunch of spices before I send it. Probably get enough, so I'm basically guaranteed a plus 5 boost. There is 80 cooking. I fished a bunch of Karambwans and bought a bunch of raw fish from Yutizo. It sucked, honestly. I needed to do it. I've got... A bunch of stews here. I can plus five now to make wild pies. There's one big problem though. If you don't know already, there's a website called Temple where you can check and update the XPs of different accounts. Here's mine. You can see all the XP that I've gained just today. And that's a problem for me because if I'm going to be logging in and out constantly so that I can keep my plus five boost for cooking, there's a bot that constantly refreshes it every five minutes. So if I log out a bunch and make a bunch of pies, you can tell that I'm making wild pies because the XP is going to show I'm gaining just magic XP in the exact amount the wild pie gives. So it's really not something I can do. So to throw off the bot, I think I'm going to just change my name before I log out. So right now, let's make it three C's flaccid pip. So I'm going to change my name and I don't know if that's going to actually work or not. We'll see. I had to get more spices. I ran out. I had a million of them. It's kind of annoying. But when I try to update my page, it says the Caesar is not on the high scores. Caesar is not on the high scores, so I think it worked. All right, so people caught on to my new name very, very fast. So as soon as I log out, you can just refresh the temple now that it's already been checked once. So it didn't really work, but I have a different idea. I got a bond here. I want to see if this will work. So if you look up my name on the high scores, it'll come up. So as soon as as soon as I log out, it'll show that I have 80 cooking. But if I change my name again, that's pretty good. Temple these nuts. So if I name change immediately and then log out, unless you have a screenshot of my stats, it shouldn't you shouldn't be able to see what XP I've gained. 
So I'm going to immediately name change. There it is. Okay, log out. Okay. So now if I go back to temple, I update. No, it didn't even work. What? Man, fuck. This game sucks. I wasted a bond. <laughs> what the hell? Why can't it look me up? If you look up Flaccid Pip, it still comes up. But my name is not Flaccid Pip. It's Temple D's Nuts. Oh, 85. Alright, I've got all the pies made. It's just time to bake them. It's going to be incredibly obvious for my XP gains what I'm doing. I'm just going to do two. I'm literally going to do one and log. That's how paranoid I am about getting this stupid boost again. It took me forever. Oh, that's 50. Cool. Alright, there's 50 wild pies made. That is 100 minutes of killing abyssal demons, which should be more than enough if I'm going to barrage them. But I don't really want to go barrage them right now. It's really scary. I The temple thing did not work at all, I'll be honest. Temple these nuts. It's not refreshed, but I feel like I brought a lot of attention to myself and what I was doing. And people saw that I got 80 cooking. And uh, I just don't feel comfortable with it. All right, it's the next day, and I'm honestly just going to go barrage because I really want to whip. It's probably a dumb idea. It'll probably get, like, I think I know that the hunters know, but maybe I get lucky and get a whip. You no, know, like 50 kills before they even know that I'm doing anything. Uh, I feel like it's a dumb idea. But I really want to whip. Here's what my inventory looks like. I got eight wild pies, so I have like 15 minutes to, to get my whip and get out. I, if I get teleblocked and there's more than one person, I'm honestly just dead. If there's one person in good gear, I'm honestly just dead. So this is a dumb idea. I might die. If I die, it's whatever, honestly. I'm, uh, I'm so scared. <laughs> That's what I was scared of. Holy fuck, that's scary. Jesus Christ. Oh, my heart's beating. <laughs> oh, I only got like, what? 48 kills? <laughs> the temple thing didn't work at all. My name is Temple D's Nuts now. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, looks like I'm going back later. Uh, not having player indicators is like okay because it's hard to log in under someone they have to be waiting for you you can just see the skulls oh my god that was a slow teleport too that was so scary oh. my heart was beating the whole time and I was like just getting relaxed Jesus fucking Christ I didn't realize it but one of the hunters actually got a teleblock off on me and splashed when I got there, I was so scared that I decided to actually barrage, not in my monk robes to save prayer points, but in my carols, so that I had 200 magic defense, and thank god I did. Also, Scuffy, one of the hunters, came and he couldn't even hit me, <laughs> which I think is hilarious. I still definitely would have died to talk the other hunter, though. Bursting is not looking too good for me, if I'm honest. I don't really want to do it. <laughs> They're barraging, I mean. So I'm just going to use the rest of these wild pies at the Slayer Tower. Uh, see what happens. I'll kill much less this way, but maybe I'll get lucky. You never know. <laughs> well, that didn't last very long. I literally killed two. <laughs> no whip. 50. I think that's where I'm going to cut the episode off. I didn't get a ton done in this episode. I got a bunch of Slayer levels. I tried to get a whip. Almost died. Next episode, I've got some big things planned. The reason this episode didn't have much is because, one, I was busy. I got the vaccine and couldn't play for two days because I was really sick. I did some stuff with real-life friends now that I'm vaccinated. But I also prepped a bunch of stuff that I've not really shown. Next episode, there is going to be a lot of stuff you're not going to want to miss. So go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you next time.